In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to set up the Xero API integration um, and how to run the export and actually get the data into your Xero account. So to start with, um, if you use the search box in the top right hand corner, you need to search for accountancy integration setup. So the initial setup is all about connecting the API to your Xero account. This is something that one of the Garage Hive team will do for you. So if you do intend to use the Xero integration, then just please let us know. I'm just going to hide these settings because they're not relevant for this demonstration. So the first things that you need to decide from um, are, are you going to export the documents on posting date or on document date? So as a lot of you will know if you're a current user of Garage Hive, that you are typically restricted to the current day with posting date. But it's entirely possible that the actual purchase invoice you're entering onto the system has a different date um, other than today. Um, and in this case, it's recommended that you actually export on document date. Now, customer doesn't really matter. Um, but again, um, if you're exporting purchase ledger on document date, then I recommend you export the customer invoices on document date as well. The next bit of setup that you have to decide um, when these transactions hit zero, they can either go in as authorized, submitted, or draft. Now, the sales documents, if you if you are intending on exporting the customer receipts and payments, this will only work if the documents are pre-authorized. Purchase documents, it doesn't matter because you're not actually exporting the payments um, or the payments are handled actually within zero itself. But for a customer, it's recommended if you do want to export the payments that you select authorized. If you'd rather do the payments manually, then you can go ahead and use draft or submitted. And this gives you the opportunity to authorize the um, sales invoices before they actually go onto the zero ledgers. In this demonstration, we're going to run from sales document as authorized and purchase documents as draft. So I can show you both examples. Once this has all been completed, you're ready to run the export. To run the export again, you use the search function and you just search for export to accountancy system. Now within here, this is where you can decide what you want to export. So you can export um, customer invoices and credits, customer payments and refunds, or vendor invoices and credits, or you can export them all at the same time. There's a concept of new documents or all documents. So the system will understand that if this particular document's been involved in an export previously, it's not going to export it again. Um, and this safeguards you if you actually back backdate anything. What I recommend that you do is leave the, the date from where it is from the day you go live and just very simply just change the uh, date to and keep the export type so it's new documents. In this example, we're going to run it as all documents within this date range. So that's customer invoices and credits, customer payments, refunds and vendor invoices and credits. All transactions, regardless of whether I've exported them before, because this is just a demo um, and this date range. You can, if you want to, as well as synchronize your um, customers and vendors. So if you select these two buttons, it's going to export every single customer and every single vendor to zero as well. So you just go ahead and press OK. Now, the good thing about this zero integration is it's not exporting a CSV. It's, it's an API integration. And what the system is now doing is feeding this data into your Xero account. Um, and it will take, a, depending on how much you're exporting, um, it will take anywhere from a few seconds to a few minutes. And we're just going to go ahead now. So you see it's completed. We've exported three customer invoices and two vendor invoices. So just press OK. I'm just going to open up Xero and take a look at what we've got. So in Xero now, if I go to bills to pay, I can see in draft here, I've got two transactions waiting. So I've got this test invoice from TPS and this test vendor invoice here. So I'm going to open this invoice up from TPS. The API actually breaks it down into individual lines as well. So within the invoices in Xero, you can actually see the individual lines that make up the invoice. And you'll also notice down here, look, received through the Xero API from Garage Hive. So you can understand which transactions have come through the API and which transactions you've actually manually put onto Xero. So all I'll need to do from here is select both and approve. And that's it. And on the sales side, because these are already pre-approved, you notice they've not gone into draft or awaiting approval. They've just gone straight onto the system. So let's just find these documents.
Okay, so here's one here. Uh, test customer, and you can see that this one's still awaiting payment because on Dynamics this was actually marked as unpaid. So essentially an account customer. But then what you'll notice here is that Mr. Smith that was exported, it's actually also exported the payment. So if I just go and open up this document, again you'll see the individual item lines that actually make up the document. But you'll notice that it's actually imported the payment as well. Now, to import the payments into Zero, you do need to create control accounts so for your till or for like your card clearing accounts. And the payments will actually sit against these accounts um, until you do your bank reconciliation. But it's a nice feature that you can export your payments. So that's how the integration works. You can run this once a month or daily or weekly. It's entirely up to you. Um, if you've got any questions, please let me know. Uh, there's documentation on this, um, a, a how-to guide of everything that I've just gone over in, in detail um, on the Garage Hive documentation site. Cheers.